What's up, guys? Neil Orfield here, taking a look around the Pick'em industry to find the best bets currently available for Thursday Night Football. I'm going to be looking at all the different Pick'em sites, starting here with prize picks. We're going to look at some underdog sleeper, all, all the different places you can find Pick'em. And of course, I'm going to be using Odd Shopper to do so. While you're coming in, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. If you haven't already signed up for the Odd Shopper Pick'em Package, highly recommend doing so. You can get it for 70% off your first week or month using the link in the description of this video. It's only $44.95 per month to begin with or $13.95 per week. But again, you can get it for 70% off using the link in the description of this video. Talking about the tool that we're looking at right here, it's going to give you the expected win rate for each bet, the expected EV of the card that you've made as a whole fantastic tool and of course it updates throughout the day so as the pick'em sites update their offerings odd shop are also going to be updating the odd shopper offerings showing you which bets are the best available and it uses a market-based approach so it takes a look at all the different sports books out there it knows we, we know which books are the sharpest books in general we can kind of figure out what is the most efficient line based on the offerings from the sharper sports books or the weaker sports books, looking at those books to figure out what is the efficient line for each of these props. And it's going to tell you an expected win rate using a market-based approach. Very cool, very cool tool here. So check it out if you haven't already done so. I'm going to start here looking in the prize picks entry builder. You can see right here, and I'm looking at just tonight's game. So you can find some, some higher EV bets if you look at the full Sunday slate. I'm just looking at Thursday night football for now because I figure some of you are going to want to be playing some cards just for tonight so we're going to take a look primarily at those so starting here we've got paris campbell total receiving yards under 28.5 winning 56 percent of the time yeah tough matchup here with the niners defense obviously we've got george kittle total receiving yards over 43.5 daniel jones total rushing attempts under 7.5 Brock Purdy, total rushing yards under 7.5, and Debo Samuel, total receiving yards over 54.5. These are our top bets currently. However, I will say, I think I prefer swapping out this Brock Purdy prop because we have George Kittle over receiving yards, Debo Samuel over receiving yards. I'd like to correlate those with a Brock Purdy bet. Uh, so I think that I prefer actually this Brock Purdy total pass completions over 19.5. That's going to correlate better with the other picks in this card. So I would actually prefer to swap this one in here for the other Brock Purdy bet. It actually lowers the EV based on just looking at the individual bets themselves. But I think I prefer having that correlation there. So if I were going to do just one card for this slate currently it would on, on prize picks it would be this card right here. I would swap in this Brock Purdy over 19.5 total pass completions uh but that's just my preference here uh you can play it however wh whichever way you want with that pretty prop uh i think this one looks pretty good let's move on to another book let's move on to underdog see what's available there all right so this is right now so you can see here we have all of the games included here you can find generally higher ev bets if you are willing to use those sunday bets as well but again i want to look at what's available just today so i'm going to pull up matchups for just tonight if i can not able to on underdog i was able to earlier with prize picks all right not able to let's see what we can find i'm going to remove the bets that are not from tonight we've got paris campbell in there looks like a good one it's similar to the one that we had on prize picks all right we got george kittle over 43.5 receiving yards once again All right, I had to, okay, I see. I had to filter to NFL before I can specify a particular game. So let me do that. Man, I see Puka Nakua in there again. He is just absolutely smashing, and it looks like that's going to continue. Wish I had drafted more of him in the offseason. All right, so now I'm going to add in some of these best bets and think about if I want to make any pivots after I've added them. All right, so we have Paris Campbell under 28.5 total receiving yards george kittle over 43.5 total receiving yards eli mitchell over 29.5 total rushing yards interesting to see that after eli did not play last week but coach speak suggesting that he's going to be more involved this week 29.5 we have the over winning 54 percent of the time there brock purdy under 7.5 total rushing yards and then lenoir under 4.5 total tackles here for san francisco let me see do i want to do i want to swap any of these out 
Love that Daniel Jones line over 37.5 rushing yards. He should be using his feet quite a bit against this Niners defense, one would think. We've got Purdy in there under 7.5 rushing yards. Do we have a better Purdy bet that we'd like to get in there? Doesn't look like we have any great Purdy bets currently available, so I think I'm most likely just sticking with these five bets if I am on underdog. Of course, this one has, as you can see here, negative expected EV for this card, so you could go back and say, you know what, I, I'd like to play mostly from this slate. Maybe I'll get rid of uh, the, the worst bets here and filter out, maybe get to all games. Use something from... Sunday, I think I'd have to refresh to do that here, but you could include, you know, some some of the bets from Sunday that have a little bit higher expected win rate might be the way to go just to to avoid an, a negative expected EV card here. All right, I'm going to move on, take a look at what's available on Jock Market. All right, so once again, I'm going to go NFL just for tonight's game to start. Going to remove the games, picks that are not from tonight. Now I'm going to add in Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel. See here, you have to have a minimum number of bets included there, so I have to remove them one at a time here. All right, and then we'll add in Darius Slayton, Daniel Jones. See what this looks like. All right, so we got George Kittle, our highest expected win rate bet here, over 43.5 total receiving yards. Looks like you can play that at any of these pick'em sites. Uh, McCaffrey over 77.5 rushing yards, winning 54% of the time. Debo Samuel over 54.5 receiving yards. Darius Slayton over 18.5 longest reception. And then Daniel Jones over 0.5 total interceptions thrown. Look like those are our best bets of the day. I don't think I see anything here that I would like to, that I would prefer in terms of correlating this bet. Yeah, no, I don't I don't see any great correlations to add here. So this is probably our best bet currently on Jog Market. If you want to play just for Thursday Night Football, again, you can go back, maybe include a few from Thursday Night Football, a couple from Sunday, however you want to play it to maximize your enjoyment and EV. I'm going to move on to Sleeper now. Once again, I'm going to go to just tonight's game. And as you say, you, you can also do multiple sports across these cards so you don't even need to do just nfl if you don't want to doesn't look like we have much available on sleeper currently looks like our best place to play for tonight if you're looking at uh just thursday night football is going to be prize picks we had the, the best offerings there looks like underdog is is not far behind maybe you want to include one or two uh bets from sunday if you're playing on underdog jock market look like we had a few available uh but yeah prize picks probably the the best place to play currently but again these update throughout the day the operators are pulling bets adding different uh different parlays on there throughout the day different uh betting options throughout the day and we are going to update odd shopper as the sites do that that is part of the beauty of the odd shopper tool is that we update as the sites update we're always taking a look at the sharpest lines across the industry to figure out what is the most efficient way to play the bet that's going to do it for this video thanks for watching hit the like button if you haven't already done so Good luck tonight.